we want to find all of the unknowns in the triangle below. Here we have a side that we don't know, we don't know this angle, and we don't know this angle. Note that we don't know any opposite information. We know the angle 55, but not the length of the side opposite. We know the side here, but not the angle. And the same is true here. That means that we're not going to use the sine rule first. We know these two sides and the angle in between. That's going to help us find this side here. Since we're finding this side, we'd like to call it A. Just think of how the cosine formula looks. Therefore, we can relabel the triangle and call this A. This is just our labeling and not the original labeling. So only cross the original labeling very carefully so you can still read it in case you need to refer to it. I'm going to call this one B and this B and the C's can stay as they are. Let's look at our collection of information A and A, B and B, and C and C. We know the angle A is 55 degrees. We know that B is 10 centimeters, C is 9 centimeters, and we're trying to find A. Let's call it X. Once again, we can see from the table no opposite information which tells us we're going to use the cosine rule. Finding a side means we use a squared is b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Substituting in, this is x squared is 10 squared plus 9 squared take away 2 times 10 times 9 times the cosine of 55 degrees. As always, calculate all in one go, giving us x squared is 77.756 and so on. Square rooting both sides gives x is 8.817 and so on. So x is 8.82 centimeters, correct to three significant figures. Since I'm going to use this value again in a calculation, I'm just going to store 8.818, which is the value on the calculator correct to four significant figures. Let's look at finding this angle, which I'll call Y. B is 10. We know A and A now. Angle A is 55 degrees. And A, I'm going to use 8.818 using the extra significant figure because I'm doing another calculation with this number we can see we know a pair of information which means we can use the sine rule. We're using the sine rule to find an angle so angles on top. Sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Substituting in the sine of 55 degrees divided by 8.818 is equal to the sine of the angle I've called y 
divided by 10 centimeters. Rearranging this gives sine y is equal to the sine of 55 degrees divided by 8.818 multiplied by 10. Calculating this gives sine y is equal to 0 0.928 and so on. So y is going to be the inverse sine of this number. So y is equal to 68.3 degrees correct to three significant figures. We need to find this angle here which I'll call Z. Z equals 180 degrees take away 55 degrees take away the 68.3 we just found giving us 56.7 degrees.